Okie dokie. What side quest we got here? Hello, Cormac. Oh, uh, so, uh, was uh, hoping to speak to you. Hello. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. Indeed. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. <laughs> I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. Oh. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Oh. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Okay. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? <laughs> and once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. In honor oh. of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. There's like six apples on that tree. Got to feed a whole platoon of people with six apples? Okay, maybe there's like eight apples, but sure. This tun here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it to it. You'll have to ask me if you want to know how it works, though. Huh. Right, where are we going? Not this way, that's for sure. So we have the hunt board stuff unlocked, but we can't do anything with it right now. Because we can't go to the areas that we need to go to to go to the areas. We have to progress the main story right now. It's all good. It smells like a still. Where are we going? Oh my goodness. Just trying to deliver the apples to the hideaways curse breakers. Are they at the mess? Looks like they are. Don't say the thing. Don't do it. Don't you do it. It's like seven times so far. We should keep a running tally of how many times we hear that one line of dialogue. <laughs> What's up, bud? You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. A basket of Martel apples grown and picked by Cormac for sampled by Hideaway residents. Enjoy. Martel. Where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. Yeah. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Loved plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Yes. Well, I'll be. We did a side quest for her, didn't we? Proud. And rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Oh, we don't get to see him do the. Others weren't so lucky, though. The chomp, chomp. Them old apples were enough to curdle your gut. But these beauties are as sweet as you like. I'll have to pay the boys down in the backyard a visit to tell them thanks. Indeed. Uh, I was hoping we would see like the canned animation of like eating an apple. The whole thing's gone. <laughs> like there's an combat animations, talking animations, you know, exchanging dialogue animations, not that bad. Eating animations, though, in video games are definitely a thing that really isn't, isn't there yet. 
quite a painstaking animation, I imagine. How, the co how many complicated movements when you're just eating? A lot. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Bum bum. There you go, bud. Right off camera. I need to animate that. Basket. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Well, five years ago. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martel livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? <laughs> These are Martels, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not any dead ones. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Mm -hmm. Clive, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Huh. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, All right. And uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? So I have to walk all the way back. That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Yes, I do have to walk all the way back. I forgot what game I was playing for a moment, or at least the game director of this game. He does like this kind of stuff. The the slow moments in in 16 and more so before that 14 is where most of my knowledge comes from there's a very specific cadence very much about trying to keep your character grounded i think grounded humble generous you know it's that that kind of journey it's very warrior of light ish just not the same scope. I'm back, Cormac. Send their thanks and their compliments. Indeed. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. Huh. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? Oh. Sid cut she off Benedicta's over. head she and sent it to we had Hugo in a box. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but... Thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the hmm. way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. No. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? <laughs> <gasps> Let's come play. Big XP. Oh, we actually get some? Oh, we get display in the chamber. Okay. It's a trophy. And that was a nice little quest. Now I suppose we are heading out. Where are we going? Hawk's Cry Cliff from these uh, heathered highlands. One might catch a glimpse of Rosalith Castle and everything else in between. We do have to go to Rosalith for one of these bounties. So I imagine does this open up some nodes or like this region of the map, maybe? Uh, let's uh, find out. Sorry. Do you 
think it was wise to leave Gav. He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Valmechia. Mm. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. Yeah. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. <laughs> bark bark? Sniff sniff? I always knew that I would return one day. Mm. Return to Iron Home. For what? Maybe some revenge? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Hmm. We'll face it together then. To the end. Or work. Come on. Bloodlines. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Yes. Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolda. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Okay, this is the this is south. Quite a chunk south, actually. Hello. Ready, go. Run like the wind. Nope. Yeah, we just run past minor combat now. Don't really need to engage with it, I don't think. At least, unless I'm feeling choppy. Ah! Ba -ba 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 -na -na. Oop. Death blossoms now, hmm? Spoilers and Sharp Fang Singular. Those chocobos don't aggro you unless you bump into them or attack them. Well, hello there. Oh, we. <laughs> no holding back. Oh, come on. Oh, he like knocked me over. Damn it. Yeah, these things are like the only spicy mob right now that I have to deal with. They're just, just aggro enough to be a pain in the ass. Oh, geez, Rick. Yeah, they just keep attacking too.
Oh, owned. Woo, bonk. Ooh, nice parry. That was just a random parry. Didn't really plan that one. Dragon talons, though. That was not a small one. Just trying to get the lay of the land here. Bunch of random bugs and things. All this stuff's going to be blocked off down here. Fly Ambrosia. <laughs> a little bit of chocobo noise right there. Nope, there are spiders. Oh boy, but there's also five gill on the ground. Jill, there's five gill. Jill, get the gill. All five of it. What the hell was that noise? Yeah, all the stuff is locked. Now. Too wide around me. Hey, knock it off. Oops. I get back too far. Oh, but you two didn't aggro. dock building on that side we can't open the under bridge right now this is an extra path passageway all right all right to the main quest section then ambrosia just a little bit of chocobo music huh you can't just have full-fledged riding music for your chocobo just just a hint just a jingle just a tease just a wee bit oh jill pole position she was schmoovin oh my goodness oh my goodness she installed the nos on hers or in this case the the gashal greens How was that noise? There was only a wasp next to me. Oh. Gotta walk into a cutscene, gotta dismount. Mockery of justice is <laughs> what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. We're looking at. Oh, black shields. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Uh-huh. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Well. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? All right, I heard you the first time. Yeah, I go killing again. 
<laughs> You're a long way from home, aren't you? How do you know that? A limit break generation. Don't need. Man, going around is there gonna that's gonna be an achievement to buy all the orchestra rolls, isn't there? That's gonna be just one stream where I just port to flows. every single town with a few hundred thousand gil. A few? I don't even know. Probably need like a million gil to buy them all. There's so many. Oh, I gotta put my badge and my plus one on. Hey, would you like to purchase? I reckon that's fair. My oh, I'll find it a good home. My items that are only used for gaining guilt. Is it? Keep to the roads now. Keep to the roads now. How many abilities we got? A thousand points? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really like blind justice, so I'm probably not gonna upgrade it. I definitely like Thunderstorm though. So it increases the number of lightning strikes. That seems good. I also like Wicked Wheel. Is that the counter? No, Wicked Wheel is the AOE. Rook's Gambit is the counter. Counter Strike changes increasing hits. Hmm. Comes a multi hit on the 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 parry essentially. Although, upgrading Aerial Blast also seems pretty good. Upgrade increases the duration, so it'll last even longer. Oh my god. Yeah, Lightning Rod also seems pretty good. And then, so does Judgment Bolt, but Judgment Bolt's like a big AOE. It does say massive damage to a single target, which is curious. It looks like it's a big AOE. We could save it for another ult, or we could upgrade Thunderstorm. Those are the two abilities I like the most so far. We haven't even used Ignition yet. What does Willow upgrade to? Increases Fireball count. Enhances the potency while not applying up to four attacks. That also seems pretty damn good. A lot of good upgrade possibilities. Haven't done anything with Heat Wave yet. Flames of Rebirth is the Phoenix ult. It's a heal and an AoE. Hmm. I don't know what to get. So I'll get nothing. Oh, except for... Nope, 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 nope. Badge of Might plus two, please. Take some extra attack rating. You can't put both of them on, can you? Can you just wear a badge of might and badge of might plus two? Looks like you can. Okay. I don't know what one's better then. Because the rising flames 10% damage is old. It hits for like... 5,000 now inside the stagger window, which is a lot, it feels like. All right. Speak with several of the villagers. Hello. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. That was me! The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. I did all that. Don't they just... Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. <laughs> You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. Or be basically a demigod that currently has the power to draw upon four icons. No big deal. Eventually to be seven, I guess. You seen him, didn't you? Oh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. The black shields. Oh yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a black shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? 
Amber's the arse end of nowhere. I don't know. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. How'd you get it? But we need to find out. Could very much be. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? <laughs> we couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. Oh. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? Huh. I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. Mm. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. Okay, fair enough. But what if? These people live with a knife to their throat. In a mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. X. Obedience bought with fear. You were right. Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosary would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Hmm. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Now we gotta get a new... A new random bud. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. That's correct. What in the hell? More Ultima stuff? Well, Fallen stuff specifically. Ever since the Apollo Tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? The Mother Crystal's collapse? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. Get off. Sure. You you just AOE the crap out of him too. Uh, no, we, we, come on. The fallen stuff is an interesting story point because I wonder if that's going to really just be a background thing or what we're going to get with with all of that. The hell is that thing? This is a bomb. I meant the thing next to it. This thing, we can't can't loot it yet. on me what are you this is a treasure chest that looks weird yes bulls horde braid is that a 
It is an item. Increases lunge damage by only 5%. Well, I wonder if that would stack with the, the charge attack. Probably not. Doesn't count as lunge. Black shields. What's up, buds? More of my mother's men. Still tornado for your troubles. You wanna attack? There you go. Good job, stupid bonk. That tornado is so dumb. It does just enough damage to be good. First to the long cooldown that it has. Okay. There's a couple of different paths. It looks like it goes through the. Okay, well. That's the direction we came from. So we're going this way. Also, quick. That's the only noise that chocobos make, apparently. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Those are going to wake up, aren't they? Yes. Thanks, girl. So one more friends. I was just stuck in the wall or something. It wasn't even moving. All right, nothing else. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, did I accidentally hit a strength potion? I freaking did, didn't I? Okay, more fallen robots. But also, I see a treasure chest. Bonk. Hmm. Okay. And sprint. Black shields again. too far away oh spot down here This is the other side of the bridge gate that's closed. So do we open that up? I it looks like we are. Or then it's just open now. Okay. Spiders! Oh no, not spiders. I'm definitely way over leveling right now. Blood, Clive. Yeah, I would say so. That's a lot. You were told to stay in your homes. 
Shields. Well, you know. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Oh, the Black Shields spilled Why their then? tomato soup. We owe you our thanks. Yeah. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. <laughs> On these, our swords we swear. Goodness me. Say that again. Ah! I'll show you a true shield to Brazaria. Clive, you're kind of OP though, my dude. Like case in point, my man. the nuts oh right the nuts again <laughs> I really don't think I've got out of the way to do much in this game I've done a little bit of killing random enemies and then I've done the side quests and I'm like five plus levels of everything. I just dumpster all these story combats and I'm on action mode, <laughs> which just means that I don't have the auto dodge, auto parry stuff on auto heal Tell stuff. Me what I want to the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? Good grief. <sighs> Why you? We come bearing a message. That message is your friend. The branded you freed from our camps. All right. They await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Okay. <laughs> That was a little more dramatic than I was expecting. We schmoovin'. I'm gonna hit X and walk into a cut... cutscene? Wait, I'm gonna hold... We just caused a bunch of it. They were the bad guys, though. Found. Oh, is it a... A gruesome display, as they can be referred to. Yep. Lovely. What's my mother's doing? But why? Why would anyone? I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this. Oh, Clive. Mm hmm. Now that'll do it. Drives her, and I will end it. Goodness, we should go. Yes, I 
We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. True. But that place is about to get ifreeded. So, oh man. Yeah, they called the entire lakeside village, it would seem. I wonder who the bad guys in this video game are. Anyone, uh, anyone know? Let me check the game facts real quick. Maybe it'll be a question of who is the villain in Final Fantasy 16? <laughs> Good grief. This game is a little grim. I mean, it's just setting up a narrative that's going to have, I would assume, such a cathartic payoff. Maybe. I don't know. Because you got to be careful with that because you could... Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Because I don't know if this game is going to be like... I'm going to... Subvert your expectations or something. It could, but I doubt it. List of main antagonists, <laughs> Annabelle at the top. Yeah, you think? Yep. Yo, oh, give me the loot we don't probably need. Doink. How many bloody hides do we have? Like 800? I wonder if you're just meant to just start selling stuff. I thought that whole patron's whisper thing was going to be like we could send out supplies in exchange for ability points or something. Something like that, but no. Didn't happen to come by way of old ill, did you? Not yet. Some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. Yeah. The next morning. You couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. I still having a few dropped frames here and there. A little intermittency today. I did, mummy. I could hear him shouting from down the road. That's no. You didn't hear nothing. Hmm. They're trying to get in. They tell us there's a curfew, but then refuse to survive back to our homes. What's up, losers? Passage to the provincial capital is restricted to Imperial Army personnel. The gates are closed. Be gone. What if I just shit out some hellfire right here? What would you say then? Probably nothing because you'd be turning into soup in your metal suits. But this is their home. And Yoshi P and the writing team behind this game really liked Attack on Titan and Game of Thrones. <laughs> And almost any other medieval oriented property that's come out in the last couple of decades. They all have at least a little bit of this in them. Oops. Crabs! Crab people. Crab ah! people. Hey! 
bit my butt. Get him, Torgal. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Bite him. Get him. Get him. Chomp him. Get him. Yeah, bite him. Yeah, get him. I'm, 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 I'm. Get him. I'm sorry. Bam. Mm, 26 gil when I need like a million or 26 closer. I think it might be close to something like a million gil to get all the orchestra rolls. Because they're all like 20 to 40,000 and there's like 30 of them. That's a big cave. It's very big. B E E G. Big. Very big. I guess it's technically a. Uh, not a cave, specifically. The Rose Gate. The Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. I told mm. my uncle fared better. Hey, this is the little high town area. Stop at the main gates and see where that gets us. I don't see anyone. I see some spoiders. Some spoiders. We're moving. That's the main gate. Yep. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. But also seagulls, also crabs. Also loot on the dock, most likely. No, guess not. What are these crabs guarding, I wonder? Two gill? Hey. Devil crab. No, aggro all of them. Hey, get over here. We're XP farming. Not really, but get over here, crabs. And see ya. Whee! I would say I would want a crab boil, but it's more like a crab swoil. Blah. Big hundred and five XP. Nothing, no groans in, in chat about the crab swoil. But that was pretty good. Walk into a cutscene real quick, though. just like carve our way in what are they gonna do become xp so be able to reason with the gods or at least bribe them i suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same mm. was that the only way in officially yes strictly speaking no my uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble of course Lazarus. Well, 
We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. The entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? All right, full of ghosts. As long as it is abandoned. Money on ghosts. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. Maybe. Yo, thanks for the one sharp fang. The game doesn't re react just fast enough where you get to where there's a prompt and you hit it, but you just jump. <laughs> the Lazarus District. Okay. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. This is some like highfalutin medieval. If they took the time and manpower, and by that I mean most likely slave labor, because it's medieval, let's be real, to make all this stuff out of all this stone and pave everything in, or at least as close as they could, this is some like highfalutin shit. This would take a long time. Years. Not abandoned then. Hello? Oi! Visitors! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Okay, what are they, cannibals or something? Do you see how you're dressed compared to how we're dressed? Do you think you stand any chance at all? Also, we have a giant wolf doggy! Or not. Second verse, same as the first. High frames. Pushes up glasses. <laughs> uh, okay. Well then. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. I cast two spells. And perhaps it's time you joined him. <gasps> it's the boys! The Phoenix. Wait. It can't be. I was there when you died. I know that man. I just killed a whole bunch of these lackeys, though. That's super awkward. I forgot his name. Hold on. We're going to cheat real quick. It's not going to tell us. Actually cringe. Oh, well. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Oh, we just lost eight dudes that thought they... <laughs> That's so awkward. It really is you. It's Wade! This is a weird scene, because we just murdered eight of the same troop, I guess. We can speak inside. Don't worry, we just knocked them out. Oh yeah, see, we just knocked them out. Uh-huh. See, that's what I was... Yep. That's the whole, like, guy gets squished in cartoon, and then you hear the, I'm okay! And those who wouldn't bend the knee? That whole thing. We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. Hmm. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. 
Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. Right. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. Yeah. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Why? The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Hmm. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. Correct. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. Oh, really? As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. Mm. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. Mm? If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So wait. Let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. Why is he copying Clive's hair? Or trying to, anyway. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. I did beat up all of them. Show them that the fire man. in our hearts At least you're not is not dead. so easily ah. the black True. Won't know what hit them. Although you should be. I suppose we owe you our thanks. You spared us when you could have just as easily sent us to the mud. You're telling me that's the archduke? Yes, hello. What is it you require? What is it you require? Ah, Desert Roses. New material. Okay. I don't need them for anything at this present moment, but... Of course, my lord. Will that be all? Of course, my lord. Of course, my lord. Of course, my lord. Would that be all? Would that be all? Of course, my lord. I'm sure that it will prove useful. Our thanks, my lord. Yeah, look at how many. I have 666 of the Ugarite ore and 925 sharp fangs. Just an unbelievable amount of things. Should I just like buy some desert roses just in case I need them? I don't know. I might get a ton coming up. So. I will be here should you need aught else. Should you need aught else? What are you doing, Wade? Is this it? Okay. I assume we're going to be charging through the gates shortly. Tell 
Let's then so wait. What is your plan? Hmm. Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buick Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Right. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. Okay. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough. Now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. Well, until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> mm. You haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. What is that weird collar he has on? You see that? Thank you, Sir Wade. What was that? Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Party members. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Oh, can you only have one? Oh, we guest party members. Hello, Wade. Sir Wade. A loyal shield of Rosaria. Although he was taught to have... Oh, he had thought to have died during the attack at Phoenix Gate. He somehow survived not only the disaster, but the Imperial conquest that followed. He and the other like-minded shields took up residence in the abandoned Lazarus and formed the Guardians of the Flame, brothers in arms who fight for the restoration of the Duchy. The Guardians of the Flame are the clandestine group of ducal loyalists who lead the rebellion against the imperial occupation of Rosaria and Empress Annabella. <sighs> Many of their number are drawn from those who survived the imperial attack on Finnis Gate in the year 860, who know full well the Empire's involvement in the Duchy's fall. They make their home in the abandoned Lazarus district outside Port Isolde, from where they can conduct their raids to free bearers from the imperial yoke. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Quite. Quite. Nice. I have controller audio on, but I haven't heard anything come out of the controller. So I don't know what's supposed to come out of the controller when you have controller audio going. We'll keep them from May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. Hmm. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Spoilers. Faster. Are they both riding chocobos? Yeah, see? <laughs> That's fun. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me. Sorry. Come along now. The bastards are looking for you. There they are. On your command, my lord. 
Yeah, the weird thing about it having controller sounds is that it's in the functionality of the game. Like it Straight says there is controller noise, but I haven't heard anything. I mean, I've got a headset on, but I feel like I would have heard something if it didn't come from the headset. What's up, losers? I'm going to walk into a cutscene real quick on you. Their armor looks cool, though. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vice Ring. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us... Yep. ...that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Correct. Then come! Die along with your flame! Oh my goodness. For us area! For us area! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Third verse, same as the first two. Indeed. Get him, boy. Bloody hell. Reinforcements from the far bank. Another wife and to fight their battles for them. Oh. Spicy. He jumped in the air and got me. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> that was weird. Whoa, oh, the camera was broken. Oh, Dragoon fight. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whoa! I did a little too slow. Oh, he, he hit me through that. Crap baskets. Oh, he double jumped on me. Damn it. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, that's so much faster than the older ones. I mean, these guys totally dusted. <laughs> Trying to get the dodge timings on those to get extra damage windows, but I can just avoid them. Imperial links, huh? Hmm. Imperial links. Indeed. I don't see any more. All right. Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. <laughs> Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. Probably not. For the time being, at least. Probably makes it worse. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. Yep. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. Wait, why are you giving as me this big speech have, right now? And always will. I appreciate it, though. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. Hmm. Well said. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Quest complete. <laughs> black or white? What about black and white? That was a good game. Who played that game back in the day? That, like God Sim game, black and white? The game was pretty good. It was very silly, but it was pretty good. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Mm -hmm. Since the beginning. Oh. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the vice regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows. I'm sure. Where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Mm. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a <laughs> way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. Right. Mm. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Another seal, the Burnt Blade. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. <laughs> Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Mm. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Okay, bye. And then? This game looks pretty good. Yeah? This game looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> We got I'll snuck in. in. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. <laughs> or 
try to guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. He needs to string us up himself. Oh, that's just him walking over. Oh, really? So port is old. Or I is yeah, it's old. Port city situated on the southwestern coast of the Imperial province of Rosaria. Only Rosalith rivals it for size. Oh, the si oh, just the overall port. Because Rosalith is also on like an archipelago kind of a thing. Or I guess well, there's no over a peninsula. So it's street bustle with traders from across Valistea. Sadly. Oh. And in its glory days of Archduke Owen's reign, it's streets bustled. Sadly, those days are long since gone, and San Braquois's occupation has been everything, from marketplaces to military institutions subverted to the will of the Empire. Great. Lovely. Are they the bad guy? I'm not sure. Are they the bad guy or not? Did we get a, a, a ruling on, on, on the Game Facts page? Who, who is the bad guy? Hello. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. What's up? Clive Rosfield died long ago. Mm. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. <laughs> well, maybe when they were when he was young, I guess. You would mock me as well. Yes. Clearly. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to her serene holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. <laughs> Meadow, thou vile sorcerer. For thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> that was cool. We didn't have a setup for that, but that was neat. Infectious flax wench, even in death, must thou plague me still? <laughs> Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. <laughs> Aw. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> You always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. You never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> so. Aww. I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. <laughs> the good plates? Mm -hmm. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. It's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. 
You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been 20 years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port that recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. <laughs> and besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? Uh, who's also here? Oh. You've always been a terrible liar. Oh. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. Aw. It seems One great. One thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. Well, you see. You're always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Why then? Who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. <laughs> this will be fun. Watching another movie right now. I'm, I'm pfft, watching movies right now. <laughs> Over there. Go on. Uh, 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 yeah. a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind. Hmm. Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I... I did so because I saw no other choice. Yeah. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. So I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything. Anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. <clears throat> I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you. Just as you stood with me. Don't 
Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. No smooch? Oh my god. <laughs> How blue are this man's balls? Real talk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, so we're letting them set up the ship, but we're going all the way back to the hideaway. I guess for the three day period while they're doing that stuff and things. Okay. Sure. Well, we'll head back to the hideaway then, won't we? Oh man, that was a lot of cutscenes. Definitely ready for some combat. It's the ebb and flow of this game, though, right? Fifteen minutes of combat, forty-five minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's the stuff right there. Yep. 